Human beings or human beans. Either way, we were built to be hunter-gatherers. We conquered the earth, which isn't a good thing really, so we probably would have been better off as beans. The earth would have thanked us for that. The earth probably would have flourished if we were just beans. For some reason, we're not. They just made our brain too bigger. <laughs> Way too bigger. We used to live off the land, hunting, gathering. We'd hunt, we'd gather berries, twerk maybe a little probably, probably twerk. Damn it, I was born in the wrong era. God, take me back to the hunter-gatherer days. <laughs> I hate it when people say that, by the way. They'll live a great life in the 21st century and they're going, I was born in the wrong era. I should have been born in the fucking hunter-gatherer days. You wouldn't last a second. They'd put you in porridge or something if they could. Shut up. You were born in the absolute right era. Or maybe you shouldn't have been born. Sorry, I shouldn't have said that. I take that back. No, I don't. Maybe, I don't know. But now, humans eat donuts for breakfast. But what are you talking about, Isaac slash batch slash Italian batch? Well, I'll tell you. One TikToker has really stood out to me this week. That's a lie already, because it actually stood out to Cal, my editor. I took the idea out of his brain and I put it on your screen. She goes by the name of Alexandra Sabol, or Alex Baby 97 which is cooler. Now, Alex posts videos of herself plating up her children's food or cooking dinner and stuff like that, basically. But she's received a lot of backlash for what she plates up on that plate. Plate. The thing is, the viewers don't realize how much love and care goes into those meals. <laughs> Play up my child's dinner with me. <clears throat> she didn't do that bit, but that would be more funnier, wouldn't it? That would be more funnier. I've just lost what I threw as well. I especially like in this video how she spoons the donuts in half to make it look like there was prep involved. To break a donut in half, it's not difficult. You don't need a spoon for it, so the spoon wasn't really necessary. The thing is, if this was like a one-off, it'd be fine. It's cool, get a donut for breakfast, one-off, that's really cool. But it's not. This is just what she does, hence the bad reaction in the comments. The toss of the plate onto the bench indicates how much love and care goes into the poor little person's breakfast, and that smile on mummy's face. That is quite true. She does just slap that shit down. And other people saying, how is this breakfast? Some people do defend her. They say, if I was a kid, I'd love this. Who doesn't like donuts? True, but not true. I don't think you would like donuts if you were fed donuts every day as a child and you got to the ripe old age of 18 and you don't like any other food because you've only been eating donuts your whole life. Kids are so malleable. You are literally defined by your environment. If you are only exposed to one certain type of food your whole life and then someone throws a fruit or a vegetable at you, you're gonna shit your pants. You just won't eat it. She does lunch as well, by the way. Not just breakfast. There goes the plate. Boom! Plate up the fucking lunch for that little twat. You might be wondering why she is soaking wet. Um, I've no fucking idea. I can't answer that question for you. I'm just, you know, I've been, <laughs> I've had this video on my phone for a, a week, this still haunts me. I have no idea why she's soaking wet. You know, I was thinking of filming a video one time where I was literally just dripping wet and I wanted to see if anyone would bring it up or just what you would say about it, but I haven't. And now I can't because I've ruined the joke. So thanks. So in that video, she made, um, I don't know. I had to search it, found out it was some like pocket of peanut butter and jelly, but it was a hazelnut version or something, or a chocolate version, it wasn't like peanut butter and jelly. And then there's a cheese string, which she cuts up with a knife. Again, she does the classic old trick where she's cutting something up so it looks like she there's prep involved. But halfway through, she realizes, oh fuck, this can't be asked. Starts ripping the thing up, which you should have done in the first place. And again, people in the comments weren't happy about this because the kid is clearly getting no nutrition. It can't make its own food. So it's sort of down to the parent to nutritionize it. And that is a word, just don't look it up. The best part about this though is someone commented, try deep frying the Uncrustable, a whole new world. And she loved it. <laughs> she, by the way, she doesn't, she doesn't interact with any comments at all. Um, she certainly doesn't take any advice on board. And yet when someone mentions deep frying something, she loves that. Love it. Now, don't get me wrong. This person deserves absolutely zero hate. 
I'm not saying she is a bad person and I never agree with anyone hating in the comments. She might actually think she is doing her best because one of her videos is titled Healthy Midnight Snack and she makes a fucking pop tart. So I don't know if she genuinely thinks she's making uh, like healthy nutritious meals and she is doing a good job or she's well aware that she's not and it's all for TikTok, I have no idea. And the food thing is clearly her whole like brand because even her bio says she's not a regular mum, she is a cool mum. Sorry for a little sidetrack here, but I realized I was supposed to say something in, in the intro about me as a child because I just have this image here and this was supposed to be a whole joke. So just pretend I made the joke now. This is me as a child. It's a spam sound. Okay, moving on back to the video. Actually, before we go back to the video, I take this moment to like the video, comment on the video and subscribe back to the video. But in her defense, she does sometimes cook. Don't let her anywhere near a petrol pump slash gas pump if you're in America, because she will drain the fucking thing into a pot. Cook dinner with me. Yep, that's about a liter. There's a clear trend here, isn't there? I mean, she is clearly giving Kay's cooking a run for her money. The baton does have to be passed on at some point. Kay can't do this forever, so just saying. The technique is just crazy. I mean, have you ever seen anyone season raw beef when it's in the pan and then flip it onto the seasoning? I've never seen that. I didn't think anyone's brain would process something like that. And I would give my left bollock, which is my favorite one, to say that these will end up raw in the middle and burnt on the outside. How often do you have to buy garlic salt? <laughs> I would say a lot. I would say a lot often. I'd love to give her the benefit of the doubt and say that Alex really does mean well, but if she did mean well, then um, she wouldn't act like she does act in the videos. She clearly doesn't give a shit. Like she's throwing the plates down, slamming the food on. She looks miserable. And if she really did care and she did mean well, then she wouldn't even be making these videos in the first place. I already think that you know, those, even the lives and the videos where people are plating up their kids' meals or any video really where someone's like just exploiting their children for views. I think it's really fucking weird. And it's so convenient that her videos just happen to be over that 60 second mark, which means she's making money from it. The time spent filming those videos could be put towards preparing better food or just preparing food at all, because she doesn't. She just cuts stuff up with a spoon. But disregarding all of that, let's say she really does mean the best and she just happens to like videography, hence why she's filming. Then if that was true, she would at least take on board the criticism from the comments or acknowledge them. But instead of taking on the criticism where someone says, oh, chuck a fruit on that plate, she'll ignore it and the next video will be her plating up something even worse. So it goes from a donut to a stick of butter. It doesn't really, but just imagine that. So it's clear that it's all for views because she lo she knows if she's going to make a shit meal, she's getting engagement. And if she gets engagement, she's going to make money off the increased views. That does not signify to me someone who means well for their child. It's th if they are purposefully feeding them shit so they can get views and make money off it. You're making money off it. Spend the money on food. And this isn't even one of those cases where I can say, oh, well, she's not harming anyone. Leave her to it, because she literally is. It might not seem like a big deal, but if you are being fed donuts every single day as a one-year-old, you will develop heart disease when you're older. You will get cancer. Foods like that are not good for you. Everyone has a donut in moderation. I had four Krispy Kremes yesterday, but I'm a full-grown male, and I was, I was at a bad point in my life, okay? But if you're giving your kid donuts every single day, it's gonna have a, a bad effect on their body and their health. Going forward in their life, they're gonna be a fussy eater. They're not gonna wanna eat vegetables or fruits or anything that's good for them. They're gonna be stuck in that bubble and you've decided their life for them. This is why TikTok is such a scary thing. Now that anyone can make money off a 60 second video because the algorithm is built in such a way that you don't even need followers to get views. You don't need to put hard work in to get views anymore. It means people are doing anything for money. They know if they make a 60 second video doing something they shouldn't, it's gonna get a bad reaction 
which is just gonna result in more engagement and more views and more money. Parents are really taking advantage of this. They're doing shit like this, shit where they're just going on live with a kid. If their kids got something wrong with them, they'll make them a page and they'll film every second of their life and they'll put it on their page. Sometimes that's a good thing. Sometimes the kids like that. A lot of the time it's not a good thing. The comments are never nice because no one is nice. You've got to accept the fact that if you're posting something online, people are not going to be nice about it. And over time, it just breaks them down. You, we've seen it with family vloggers. The kids never end up okay because they are just being vlogged every second of their life. Everything is being broadcasted to the whole world. It's a recipe for disaster. And that's why I think future generations are actually doomed. You know, it won't be a missile that kills you. It will be videos. This one was less of a fun video, more of a um, public cervix announcement. I just, don't, I just don't like it when people exploit their kids for views. And although this isn't direct exploitation of the child, because the child is not, the child is sometimes in the videos, but it's not like, you know, stand in front of the camera so we can get some views and some money, but it's, indirect exploitation. The child is still having to eat these meals because the mother knows that making these meals is gonna get her views because people are hating on them. And so that's why I made a video on this. Reminder that the podcast channel is up. Link at the top of the description to go and subscribe. There may be a video on there, I don't know. I don't know where we are in the world. Thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, comment, share this to your family group chat. That's it, see you later.